good to sit down shortly after we get to the marina with a pad of paper and a pen and write down a list of everything that we remember from the voyage that wasn't right, everything that needs to get fixed, everything that we didn't understand, you know, everything and every, anything from all three of us. That'll be really great um, to get the input, especially yourself with your, your experience of cruising. No. Oh, no, no, definitely, definitely. Yeah, you know, I mean, I've done the one cruise over the top, and that was in a brand new boat. Yeah. Three years old. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a hang of a difference. This is very different, yeah. yeah. And plus we were marina hopping for the, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. And there were services wherever we went. You can't compare a 28-year-old boat with a, right. with a three-year-old boat. No. <laughs> And it's a whole different class of boat, oh, too, yeah. you know, it handles so differently than the oh. Beneteau that you had. Absolutely. But she got us here. She made it. Yeah, through <laughs> some fairly bad weather. Through some, some horrible stuff, yeah. 30 knot winds, close haul. It was, it was not so comfortable, but it was uh, a lot more comfortable than uh, most boats, I think. Yeah, you're very happy. Maybe someday we'll be able to uh, do a convoy somewhere. I would welcome that. Yeah, that'd be great. Wouldn't that be fun? That'd be great. I um, I was an accountant. You were for for how many years? Uh, well, for 20 years I worked for the company. Wow. I started out as a financial controller. Yep. And then uh, that was in South Africa. Yep. And then I was promoted to MD for that area. And wow. And I worked for five years. I think it was my longest stint in any one job. Wow. And then. Uh, they said they had a job for me out in Australia, but it would be going back to finance. And I said, that's cool. Wow. I'll take that. And then I was made GM for Australia after Jeez. about two years. Wow. And then the company really began to grow. Uh, it became a real multinational and uh, took on wider responsibilities around Asia. And uh, yeah, it was just great fun. Wow. Really great fun. Wow. How, Always a challenge. How long ago did you did you uh, leave the company? Finished up in 2009. 2009? Yeah. November 2009. Wow. And look at you now! <laughs> a scruff bag. Yeah. <laughs> that hasn't showered in three days. Oh, no. <laughs> it's been great sailing with Richard. He's been a great cook. <laughs> He's cooked many of the meals aboard. I haven't cooked any of the meals. I think I made sandwiches one day. But Richard has put together some fabulous pressure cooked stews, chicken soups, and beef stews. And it's been nice getting to know him. We went through some pretty rough weather, uh, the three of us. So here in the ICW, we have all these bridges that we need to go under. We there need to request is. that every bridge opens. Uh, or uh, some of the bridges don't open, quote unquote, on demand. They they only open on a set schedule. So you, 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 the boats just need to sort of motor around, hover around, just wait near the bridge for the scheduled opening. It'll kind of look like little ducklings following a mother duck. It's also customary to thank the bridge tender by waving after you've gone through. You're welcome. Have a safe trip back up north. You're welcome. Captain, what's the name on your vessel? The Tinker 8. Thank you. Sign off. Thank you for waiting, guys. We make that bridge. Have a boat and video camera will travel. Marina. 
Del Rey Harbor Marina. Have we made a reservation with them? Uh, well, actually, the skipper has made a reservation, so we're almost set. Yay, and do they have showers? No, they do. Do they have Wi-Fi? Oh, I can't even imagine otherwise. <laughs> How long have you been at sea now? Too long. <laughs> Three days at sea. My deodorant is starting to fail. Need shower quickly. You're wearing deodorant? That <laughs> uh, uh, explains a lot. <laughs> so you're setting up the uh, stern lines? Yes, sir. Yeah. I got the bow lines here. Yeah. And we'll get the springs and then the get fender. The That cake can't be more than like 12 years old. Got some pretty fancy schmancy houses on the ICW here in West Palm. One after another after another. Kind of reminds me of the canal systems in Amsterdam. Look at the springy thingy over the bow of that boat that's putting tension on the line pulling it away from the dock so it's not touching the dock. Never seen that, that before. Man, you can really feel the salt on this canvas. It's just totally caked with salt. What an interesting place, huh? Parked at the first marina and uh, didn't fit. Um, so, so we uh, called around on the telephone, found another marina that's close by that has two slips, um, and uh, so we're on our way there. And hopefully, we'll fit there. Um, if not, um, there's a gas dock that we can pull into after they close at 6 p.m., which is in three hours from now. We can stay in the, the gas dock until 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, you know, it's critical that we do find somewhere to go before sunset. Um, um, so, check out this next marina. Yacht Top of Delray, this is Fellowship. Okay, Fellowship. Okay, we're right outside that entrance. We, uh, we came past and didn't see anyone. Yeah, take your next left in this opening. Let's get a sailboat, okay? That is correct with the sailboat, so we'll slip be on our port side. Slip on the port side. Okay. Come on in, I'm standing on the end of the dock. Okay. And the tire from either side? Dock is on the port. Dock is all around. Dock is on the port. Dock is on the port, but we have posts all around. Alright. So make sure these fenders are good. We need we, we need more fenders on we need more fenders on the port side. I'll tell you what, I'll fend off and there's a fender for you. Reverse. Reverse, Skipper. Reverse. Reverse. Hard reverse. Congratulations, Richard. You have completed your first offshore voyage. Yes. I suppose I should get off the boat now and kiss the ground, right? Terra firma? No, that's only if you think you were going to die. <laughs> <laughs> but keeping it simple is a very, very good concept. Yeah. Extremely good concept. For one thing, then you can understand it, and you can maintain it, and you can fix it when it goes wrong. But also, it's less likely to go wrong if it's simple. My boat has Probably a manual way. build pump and an electric build pump. It's and much less, exactly it's much less it's likely to go wrong if you installed it yourself. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I think that's really true. From heads to build pumps to whatever, if you install it yourself, it's not going to go wrong because if you, you, you made sure. Up, if you tighten up the host pumps enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's some trial and error. <laughs> Pretty fancy marina. Three bucks a foot per day. Right off the uh, 
Strange to see you wearing the collar shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the Richard that I know. <laughs> Thank you for all the entertainment. Have a wonderful cruise. Thanks so much for coming down. Fantastic. Yeah. Great life experience. Well, keep, keep in touch yeah. on the sail blog and Absolutely. talk to us. And I hope I'll be seeing yeah. you again. Absolutely. All right, mate. Till then, fair winds. All right. All right. Safe travels when you go back tomorrow. Thank you, and have a great flight, Richard. Thank you.